Question 20. Here is a kite. There's the kite. It's got some coordinates on it. It says, write the coordinates of point D. Now, that sounds easy, but it, it sounds easier than it looks. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we need to remember that with any coordinate, the first number before the comma tells you how far across to go. And the second number after the comma tells you how far up to go. So, it's along the corridor and up the stairs. Now let's see what we can get from this. Well, this first point is three along. So that first point must be level with three. So this must be three here, three along. Point B is five along. So this one must be five along from zero. So if we go down, this must be level with five. And C must be... 10 along so from 0 all the way along to the bottom here it must be 10 so that we get level with C so A is 3 along B is 5 along C is 10 along so we've got some numbers along the bottom to help us now let's put some numbers up the side well A is 3 along and 4 up so when we're going up level with A this must be 4 and that also fits in with C because that's also 4 up and that's level. B is 6 up. So that must be level with 6. So how does this help as well? Point D then. If we look at point D, from 0 we've got to go 5 along. It's level with B when you go along. And B is 5 along. So D almost also must be 5 along. So the first number of the coordinate must be 5. And the second number, how far up? Well, we've got no number here. But what we do know is that this point is 6 up. This point is 4 up. Now, this is a gap of 2. Now, with a kite, it is symmetrical. So if we've got a gap of 2 to here, this must be a gap of 2 as well. So if we do another gap of 2 to there, it will go 6, 4, 2. 6, 4, 2, 0. So that would fit in. So it's got to be 2 up. So the final answer is 5 along and 2 up. Just to recap what we've said there, it's got to be 5 along because it's level with B, and B is 5 along. So that's where the 5 comes in. And it's got to be 2 up, because B is 6 up, A is 4 up, and that's a gap of 2. So if we do another gap of 2 from 4, we get to 2 again here. So that must be 2 up. So it's 5 along and 2 up.